All right, everything's good. We can begin. Ginger, it's good to see you. Welcome, one and all. We're just going to have a little bit of a session here as I play Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Now... This is going to be a bit of a refresher to the world of Dragon's Dogma before we get Dragon's Dogma 2 tomorrow. Before, and that happens right before my birthday on Saturday. So this ought to be a nice refresher to those who have, haven't played the game in a while or may be new to the game so I can explain things to you. Now, just a forewarning, I am pretty much an end game with this file that I have. And when I say file, I mean the only save that you're allowed. You only get like one save. If you try to start a new game, it overwrites the one you have. So, unless you start on hard mode, which then is basically essentially new game plus, but it's uh, a little bit more difficult. I wouldn't say it's impossible. It's just slightly harder. So it's, it's, it, I wouldn't even call it hard. I would just call it slightly more difficult. But yes, I'm essentially an endgame where I'm required to find 20 wake stones. And if I look at my inventory, if it'll allow me. Oh, I got some, I got some bad stuff. If it'll allow me to look at my inventory. I currently have 13 wake stones. I need 20 in order to complete this one particular mission. Now, before I do all of this... Oh, right, I forgot. Since I started a new file, I, one, don't have access to this... I don't have access to this one item from the Bitter Black Isle, which is another location that was added with Dark Arisen uh, that essentially takes you to this labyrinthian uh, island that has tons of incredibly difficult enemies, including Death himself, but the reward and rewards you find there are exponentially better than anything you could ever find in the base game. So, for example, I have the Grave Veil, one of the 13 fabled bitter black armaments befouled by devilry, reduces damage from bow attacks. This is one of the best armor pieces you can get for your sorcerer character, Along with the Grave Mantle. the uh, And there's Carrion Claws. Slightly restore stamina when you deliver the killing blow to an enemy. Stamina doubles as your health. So when I'm killing enemies, I'm basically getting health back. So it, it's that. Uh, Carrion Greaves increases maximum item carrying capacity. And of course, we have the uh, Hellfire Cloak. Which is a truly rare item, even among the Fable Bitter Black Armaments. Now, since we're all the way here, and we're, we're, we're all the way deep in here. Let me see. Let me just jump off here. And it's just going to take me through to the center, and then it's going to drop me. Oh, it's just, it's just going to keep dropping me. I, I need to find a way to get right back up to the main floor again. Alright, so this is the place where I'm supposed to be taking the uh, wake stones. But we're going to go ahead and actually leave. Because I want to show you guys Bitter Black Isle and why it's such a dangerous place. And hopefully I can get my hands on the Eternal Lantern. Because walking around with a lantern where you have to constantly put oil in it over and over and over again... Yeah, it's, it's, uh, when you get an item that gives you infinite light, it is, it changes up how you move about. And actually, some, I wonder if people have still been using my pawn after all these years. Let me see. If I rest... Today. 
Okay, my okay, someone's been using my pawn again. Wow, so many people have been using my pawn. Including uh including my bro Chris. He's been using he's been using my pawn as well. Now they got a whole bunch of stuff. Obtain the experience and items the pawn gained while away. Continue? Yes. They gave me meat and berries. Y'all are so kind. I guess we're sent to storage. How did I perform? I tried my hardest. And this is my pawn wisp. She is my archer, my longbow archer. I've learned new techniques against that foe. And she uses basically hold on, let me see. Equipment. Wisp. So she has the best knives. She has the best knives for her vocation, which is a ranger. She has the best knives, the best bow. Hood of Shadow. Code of Shadow. Gauntlets of Oblivion. Boots of Oblivion. And she has a Hellfire Cloak as well. So she pretty much has like really, really good gear. Pretty much the best gear. Perceptor Ring, uh, Biting Wind, Cutting Wind. She's got all these good stuff. So, let's bring up the map. And that goes to the blue moon. I'm trying to see here. It's supposed to be a location where I can just go to Bitter Black Isle just like right now, but it's been so long that I actually can't remember. I actually forgot how to fast travel. Oh, I think I know. I think I know. Uh, Eternal Fairy Stone, use. There we go. All right, now we go to Bitter Black. Kitty, welcome. We are playing Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Apologies if it seems dark. My lantern ran out of light. One can reach it from anywhere with the use of a magic item. The air is heavy. Some have seven. It seems even she has seven. The meaning of the Arisen's charge. Of the quest to reclaim one's heart. The more I think of my lord, the murkier it grows. Pray permit me to help you now as before. I would dearly welcome the sense of all right so i got a bunch of these items a bunch of uh novelty stuff that i can use and turn in which i'm going to do because it costs like rift crystals in order to do so hopefully i'll get the eternal lantern scroll of adhesion makes it harder for an enemy to throw you off while you're clinging scroll of optimism scroll of optimism scroll of tenacity ring of thrift scroll of metal scroll of flow scroll of flow scroll of grace scroll of prolongation expediting papers shortens up the time to forge items scroll of adhesion expediting papers scroll of, ath of athleticism scroll of adhesion scroll of tenacity Scroll of Grace, Scroll of Tenacity, and Scroll of Adhesion. Quite a lot of the same thing. Due to overcapacity, the following were cashed in, because you can only have one of these scrolls. So... Let's go to novelty level two. I'm not seeing no eternal lantern.
hastens the speed with which you recover lost health from curative magic and healing springs. How's everybody doing? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. I cleaned out the freezer. You're like Eins versus the Vampire Lady. <laughs> greater, greater defense. Magic essence. Infinity wall. <laughs> I, I was just, I was just looking at a clip from uh, Overlord earlier this morning as well. It's funny you should mention Overlord. Scroll of acquisition. Scroll of fa uh, facility. Scroll of tenacity. Scroll of recuperation. Pray permit me to help you now. Scroll of recuperation. Lordly tonic. Liquid effluvium. Mouth dried hospod. Scroll of facility. Liquid effluvium. Fiendish essence. Lordly tonic. Fiendish essence. Mount, mount, month dried harspud. Jewel of summoning. Antique panop, panopoly. Scroll of acquisition. Rancid bait meat. <laughs> it's just like that. I got more than enough of rift crystals to pretty much open up all this stuff. Because as soon as I... Wait a minute, is it supposed to be gear? Is it supposed to be gear? Mage's Band, Anodyne, High Anodyne, Brontide, and High Brontide. Bloody Knuckle, wearing this boosts the wearer's power when fighting barehanded. Of course, no one in their right mind would fight barehanded in this game, because there are things that can kill you with their bare hands quickly. Daggerist's Band has been purified. Biting Wind, Cutting Wind, and Scarlet Kisses, Hundred Kisses. Mastering! Boosts skill stifling resistance by 89. Boosts cured resistance, cursed resistance by 78. Staff bearer's band has been purified. Laven, high Laven, and Frigor and high Frigor. Magic bowman's band has been purified. Magical flare, magical gleam, explosive bolt, and explosive rivet. Ow! What's up? What's going on? I'm just, re I'm just getting refreshed with the Dragon's Dogma universe by just spending all my Rift Crystals, opening up all of the Bitter Black Isle items I have had on this game ever since I bought it. I've had a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm just going to open them all. Pray, permit me to help. We're going to open up everything. Because I got more than enough. I got 8 million Rift Crystals. I'm going to be fine. Preceptor Ring, Preceptor Ring, Ranger's Ring, Mage's Ring, Strider's Band, Cloudburst Volley, Downpour Volley, Stepping Stone, and then Leaping Stone. Preceptor Ring, Preceptor Ring, Strider's Ring. I'm trying to act like I'm Einzel Gone going through, reading through all this stuff. <laughs> Now, here's the thing. A lot of stuff that you can get is based off of the vocation that you are set to. The vocation of yourself and your pawn. But I don't really care about that, so it's all good. I, I, I don't care what I get. So I got two weapons I can get my hands on. Let's see what we get. Black Wing Bow, which is the best magic archer bow in the game. A magical bow styled after a devil's wings and claws. Its strange and unsettling shape is a testament to its former owner's passion for hunting. And... Another Blackwing bow. So I got extras. Alright, so let's see what weapon level 2 will give us. Sap fire daggers have been purified. Daggers infused with magical properties for use in some arcane ritual. The searing heat of their fire enchantment lowers victims' defenses. Speaking of fire, Rocksteady has released the newest notes for the upcoming Joker DLC next week. And you know what? It's probably best. Still sneezing? I'm so sorry to hear that, kitty. 
just the constant sneezing because of allergies. For me, it wouldn't be sneezing. It'll be watery eyes, itchy eyes, maybe a sniffle here and there, but it would be it would be annoying to say the least. So real quick, I'm going to go over the patch uh not the patch notes, but just the uh dev notes for the upcoming Joker DLC for Suicide Squad. Um, it's time to take your seats, raise the curtains, and arm the explosives as the Joker is making his debut performance in Season of Joker. I'll probably read this out again um, when, he, uh, when he releases so people can be up to date. A dynamite performer. After his world, Suicide Squad died while fighting Brainiac in an unfortunate and violently explosive fashion. The Joker is back for some interdimensional revenge. Young, energetic, and eager to make a name for himself, this new take on the iconic supervillain is just the injection of panache and insanity that this Suicide Squad needs. The Joker comes with an entirely new traversal kit, using his explosive umbrella to fly around the city in style, and hopefully in one piece. With hop, skip, and a boom, the Joker takes to the skies, launching himself head over heels towards any enemy any enemies unfortunate enough to stand in his way. Then, when in the air, the Joker can unfurl his umbrella to float gently to the ground while raining explosives below, or ride on to swoop forward at great speed, probably also while raining explosives. The Clown Prince of Crime also comes with an entirely new talent tree, and y'all know my weakness is skill trees. With three different play styles of Jester, Firestarter, and Ringmaster, Jester will see the Joker doing some crowd work, getting up close and personal and introducing Brainiac's forces to his flail with devastating melee buffs. Firestarter introduces the theme of affliction specializations to our new characters, with the Joker having a special affinity for fire, which is why I brought it up because of these sap fire, uh, sap fire daggers. With talents to strike the match and plenty to fan the flames, he'll be getting on with the rest of the squad like a house on fire. And finally, Ringmaster is the Joker's way of making a dramatic entrance with his frantic traversal. With ways to extend his airtime and increase his damage while airborne, this is the playstyle for a high-flying, fast-paced, mobile Joker. And then, of course, it tells us all the things we're going to be encountering. When we, uh, when we do his missions and everything. I'm excited, okay? I can't wait to see how the Joker plays. They're introducing more notorious weapons, a new, um, a new infamy set centered around Scarecrow, which is going to introduce fear and horror effects as well. And then we're having some notorious items that are themed after Mad Hatter, Polka Dot Man, and Reverse Flash, as well as having a brand new weapon manufacturer based off of the Intergang. So, yeah, I, I, can't, I can't wait to play that DLC. Now, to everyone, I will not be playing the Joker DLC the day it comes out. Because the same day that the Joker DLC for Suicide Squad comes out is also the same day that the Legend Dawn pack for One Piece Power Warriors 4 drops as well. And, I mean, that goes without saying, but that's going to take the priority. Finding, it's good to see you. Eyes swelled and watering, nose clogged, sneezing every 0.5 seconds, uh, tickle, cough. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, kitty. I remember I used to get that all the time. My body's kind of adapted, but not 100% become immune to it. But trust, trust me when I say I, re I remember those days when I was younger. It used, to, it, was, it used to be so bad because the areas that me and my family lived in was just steeped in pollen. Every summer, it would just be pollen everywhere. So please, get well soon, kitty. And if it gets too much for you to try and tune in and you gotta really take care of yourself, please prioritize yourself. More Sapphire. Helmbart daggers. Daggers that once served as the blades atop Helmbart pole arms before they were removed and refashioned. Dragon's Glaze. A longbow said to embody a dragon's ill humor and famed for the soul-piercing chill of its ice-enchanted arrows. Dragon's Ire. A dragon's rancor bow that harnesses the searing heat of lava, its fire-enchanted arrows striking with the force of an erupting volcano. I love the way that they have weapons for, for this game. 
Did I see the stream they did for Power Warriors 4, though? Absolutely. Al. Yes, I did. It was at 6 o'clock in the morning, and I was kind of up around that time, so I had to, I was, uh, it was in the middle of it, but then I rewatched the whole thing over again. Roger looks amazing. Rayleigh looks amazing. Garp looks amazing. I cannot wait to play as these characters next week. On Thursday. Next week on, on today. Next week on like today. I can't wait. They look so good, my goodness. And we don't even know what the skills are for them. Like, we don't even know what every single skill, because you know every character has more than just four skills slotted in that you can switch around and mess with whenever you do a mission and such. So we don't know the full capacity of what Roger, Rayleigh, and Garp can do, let alone what the final uh, soul map is going to hold, along with upgrades for pre-existing skills, as well as newer skills that's going to not only increase our overall levels to level 30 for all stats, but also new skills that can make Roger, Rayleigh, and Garp, and pretty much everyone else incredibly and insanely busted. And I feel like they really do need to go all out if this is going to be the final thing that they do for Pyro Warriors 4. Especially when you're releasing a pack for Roger, there better not be a single subpar uh, brand new skill on there. They better all be busted as the same characters that we're getting. The special law looks cool too. Yes, it does. There's a lot of elements to them, like a 1v1, uh, special horde elimination, um, quizzes, quiz fights. Now, thankfully, it's not going to be like, oh, figure out which enemy to defeat in which specific order for you to progress. I'm glad it's not that, because playing Kobe's Combat Chronicles, that mission type is always annoying, and I hate it when I get stuck with it, because that's what eats up so much of my time. I hate that. I absolutely hate that mission uh, parameter. But I'm looking forward to the DLC. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Oh my goodness, this week is already going to be fun. Playing Dragon's Dogma 1 today. Going to start my series for Dragon's Dogma 2 tomorrow. Then my birthday is on Saturday, along with the final two episodes of Season 1 of Solo Leveling and another episode of One Piece later that evening. Then Sunday is going to be a brand new chapter of One Piece and I believe Jujutsu Kaisen. And then moving forward, I'm going to continue to play Dragon's Dogma until we get to the following Thursday, where I play that DLC for One Piece Power Warriors 4 with Roger and company. And then Friday will be a day where I play the DLC for uh, Joker in Suicide Squad. Needless to say, I'm a very happy YouTuber right now. There's so much that I get to give you guys. Bane Arksta Arkastaff. An Arcus staff infused with the natural magic and miasma of a cursed dragon. Chilling focus! An iron staff meant to recall a tree branch. The slight chill of its metal surface helps users focus their mental energies on the arcane. Can't wait, man. Will be a fun week. Absolutely. Absolutely. As soon as that Pirate Warriors DLC drops, it's going to be a massive blowout. I have nothing to do on that Saturday. Nothing planned that I know of. So I'm going to... I'm going to spend time figuring the ins and outs of Roger, Rayleigh, and Garp, and then build them, and then see how they go up against, like, true pirate warriors, because you know how it is. I always test out new characters with the first mission from the East Blue, Moss Head and Crappy Cook, um, which is the first mission, and then I test out how strong they can be against true pirate warriors. So, yeah, we're going to be, we're going to be very busy that day. I can't wait. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Dragon's Tempest, a bow that channels the rage of a dragon's roar, dispatching foes with the fury of a lightning strike. Its thunder enchantment shall never wane. Dragon's Glaze, Sen seen that? Bane Arkastaff, Dragon's Glaze, Chilling Focus, Bane Arkastaff. We keep getting repeats of these. Speaking of YouTuber, I know you're getting close to 5k. We are. We are, Kitty. And I have all of you to thank. Seriously. These are not just inflated numbers, nor am I the type of individual to buy subscribers because, first of all, disgusting. And secondly, it's, it's because people actually like what I do, and I'm just happy about it. So I, ha I have no one else to thank but God and you guys for helping me get this far. Thank you. 
we're getting never closer. Five, five K, five thousand subscribers. That's not a small number. We're getting close, and when we do, oh, there will be a celebration. Every one hundred subscribers is always a milestone, but every one thousand, come on, yeah, I have you guys to thank. So that's my first dragon's ire. First dragon's tempest. Pray permit me to help you now if there is all I can do. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put all these Oh. Noble limbs. Oh, okay. So they already put it in storage. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Pray permit me to help you now. Return to more purification. Oh, right. I forgot I could do all this at once. I forgot. Virtuoso ring. Solar providence. An arca staff capped with the image of a blazing sun. Its energies resonates with the wielders for potent magical attacks. Chilling razors. Daggers of such dead deathly cold that even the blood they draw is frozen in an instant. Their ice enchantment is everlasting. I can't wait to find weapons like this. I can't wait to find weapons like this! Stalwart bow. An astonishingly sturdy bow. Well made and strong in every aspect. Herald's Helix. A magical bow of gold and silver. Powerful and deadly accurate. But heavy to wield. Unfettered Claw. A staff of solid wood topped with three metal claws that stores vast reserves of magical power. Okay, let's open up this armor. Sovereign's Mantle, a splendid cloak that accentuates a lord's majesty but maintains an intimidating edge. This fine garment can make any wearer look like a king. Delta Guard, a woman's loincloth in the shape of a triangle. One would be hard-pressed to find a more distinctive piece of armor. It's a thong. Why would I put this on anyone? Just how depraved do you think I am? Apostate's anklet. An anklet of runes from a pagan religion. 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 Like a lesion. Religion. Apparently worn by those who have forsaken the faith. Divine Embrace. A refined cloak emblazoned with religious symbols and woven from a hardy cloth resistant to harsh climes. Perfect raiment for long journeys. Trophy bracers. Gauntlets of superior quality fashioned from Saurian sage hide. They recover their user's stamina slightly whenever he or she delivers a killing blow. Sovereign's mantle, once again. This just takes me back to when I played this originally. They, they had a map out for where to find specific chests that can give you level 3 stuff. And how far you needed to go. A Depths hat. A traditional tri-corner hat popular amongst high-level wizards. It extends the duration of sigils and objects summoned via weapon skills. Voltaire, Voltaire's, Voltaire's, or Voltaire's robe. A robe worn by zealots for their pagan rituals, moderate after one of the elemental beasts they worship. Silk tights! They're really just silk tights. Patterned gambeson. Crested arm guards. Oh, I saw mistletoe. Crest arm guards, that's new. Mistletoe circlet. Assault boots. Mercenary uh, slogs. Pray permit me to help you now as before. I would dearly welcome a sense of purpose. Alright, I don't have any items to purify. Pray. So let me show you why this place is dangerous. I know we spent a considerable amount of time going through and purifying all this stuff, and I was talking to all of you. But let me show you why this island is dangerous. See, when you die in this place, I think you get booted out. 
So you can keep on progressing until you get to the end and defeat the boss at the end, which is a fairly difficult boss, especially since I've dedicated so much time to being a mage for this one distinct character. But the enemies you find tend to be randomized whenever you pass through a door. And we start off and we got a dragon. No, wait. Those are not dragons. Those are massive giant saurians. The moonlight lends this place an otherworldly feel. It's a saurian search. So I'm going to wait until my high maelstrom is fully charged. And then you're going to see why... Being able to cast a giant tornado indoors is a bad idea. Now, we need light. I need to put some oil in this lantern. Turn it on. Turn on the lantern. There we go. You know, I... I people like to say that playing a mage in video games is like lame or whatever and i'm like okay sure you could think that but uh how many how many people with a giant sword can summon a tornado indoors hmm can you do that can you can you summon a can you can you cause a giant tornado to happen indoors can you make a meteors phase into reality and then just bombard an entire area can you create a mist that will slowly turn enemies to stone Hmm? No? Then quit harping on mages! They're strong! See, the thing is, I want to go... I want to go ahead and get this tornado going because there's a dark chimera down there. I think that chimera just tried to run indoors. Oh! Um, um. Y'all see that? Do y'all see that? That's death. That's death. That's death. Y'all saw that figure just flowing through? That's death. That is death. This music thing, this is death's theme. I I don't know where he is. I I don't know where he is. That's what's scary. I'm killing somebody. I'm killing something. I did something. Oh! 
Oh! Oh! Oh! Is that... I think that's death's... I think that's death's health bar. Did I just damage death? Oh, he's right underneath us. He is right underneath us. I'm trying to pinpoint exactly where he is. Because I'm not going down there to fight him. Okay? I'm not going down there to fight death. Ooh, he's right there. If he doesn't move. Don't move. Don't move, Death. Why are you why are you heading down there? Luckily, what's happening does not. Luckily, what's happening? He, it don't please, please don't float up here. Please don't float up here. Please don't float up here. If he floats up here, it's going to be awkward. If he floats up here, it's going to be awkward. I keep seeing him getting closer. He's still here. He's still trying to get me. I'm not going down there. I'm not going down there to fight him. Yo, the, chim the chimera was still there. I thought I killed it. I thought I killed the chimera. It's still there. You see? See? It'll cast sleep on you, and then it'll automatically kill you. Ah! Yo, kitty! Kitty with the... My, kitty. Kitty with the birthday super chat. Thank you. Thank you, kitty. Happy early birthday, kitty. Thank you. I appreciate it. Won't be here for the B-Day stream, but happy birthday, Kitty. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.
So, let's just go over what just happened. Death just killed both of my pawns. And I have to get to, like, a uh, sigil stone in order to bring them back. But death just, death just killed both of my pawns. It literally came in and killed them both. With just one hit. So while I thought I was doing something good, while I thought I was doing something major, it it killed both of my pawns with one swift stroke. And here's the thing, it can do the same to me. This death is capable of one-shotting you. The Chimera's still here. Hope I can cast my Maelstrom before it can do anything. Oh my goodness! You're not supposed to be able to get out of there! You are not supposed to be able to get through there! You are too big! How did you do that? You are not supposed to be able to jump through there. I don't. No, 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 no. I don't remember that. Huh? I don't remember that. Excuse me. I don't remember being able to get through the door. Nah, ah, no, 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 no. I don't remember it jumping through the door to get to me. I don't remember that. Granted, I haven't played too much of this game in the past couple of years, so I am rusty on the capabilities of enemies. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That doesn't sit well with me. Don't run around a corner. Don't run around a corner. Maybe I can make this work to my advantage. Because if it's right around the corner, at least I can at least I can aim around the corners. <laughs> I can aim around the corners. And just spam tornadoes. I don't like how I barely did any damage to that thing. 
I only took off one of its health bars. And mind you, a lot of tough enemies can have multiple health bars. Oh, that's so pleasing to know. Now here's the thing, I didn't spend an enormous amount of time with this, so I don't even have the grand versions of these spells that I'm using. I don't have Grand Maelstrom, I don't have Grand Ballad. Let me see if calling in Meteors can give me a hand. Has anyone seen the first two episodes of X-Men 97? Not yet. Not yet. But I intend to. I want to see it. I want to see it. Where is it? Is it still in the hallway? Where is this thing? Okay, so th it's just gone. And the thing that makes it dangerous because this version of the Chimera, it is capable of using healing magic on itself. So it will heal itself. You got to take out the goat head part of it. Because that's where the uh, actual magic comes from. Um, hi. Hi. Don't lunge at me. Don't lunge at me. Don't lunge at me. Don't lunge at me. Don't lunge. At me. Stay right there. Stay right there. Not to win ya. Please don't kill me right now. Great. I forgot this thing has instant death magic that can be used against me. Ah! I knew it was a bad sign as soon as I saw the ring around me. Oh, wow! You put me all the way back here. It put me all the way back at the inn. Right where I started. Now, mind you, I didn't make much progress. I didn't make much progress, let's be honest. But, man. Maybe I should have just hit retry instead of last checkpoint. Refresher course coming in handy. Oh, yeah. Remember? Not. Hold on. Return to last checkpoint. No, that's it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I remember. I remember. I remember now.
But this also means that I basically keep all of the bitter black isle stuff that I just uh I just purified. I, I get to keep that now because I reloaded back to this previous safe. And this item is different. So items tend to get re-rolled. Yo, CDs, it's good to see you. CJ, you say you saw it. Must admit it was pretty good, especially with the various callbacks and references to the previous show in the comics. So far, so good. Yeah, me and Godzilla have been planning on watching it. Not together at the same time, but we both want to see it for ourselves. But CDs, my friend, it is good to see you. How has life been treating you? Let's see if enemies have been replaced, have been changed up here. No, we still got the giant Saurians. That's fine, though. I can kill them instantly with a Maelstrom. Just don't look over here. And your limited trial on life will officially expire in three, two, one. That's mighty handy, ain't it? All you gotta do is just... Oh, good to hear from me hiding in the restroom right now. Tuck the feet up, that way they can't find you. And don't make a sound. Graphic is nice. For this? This is a old, this is a old game, though, I think. Hold on. Let me check the game case, because y'all know I like to have physical games. Let me check how old this game is. No, I could just look it up. Dragons, Dogma. Dark Arisen. Ah, 2013. This is a 10 year old game. So you're saying the graphics is nice for a 10 year old game that just speaks to the level of quality Capcom had even then. And you mean to tell me that they're going to be using the uh, Resident Evil engine for D uh, Dragon's Dogma 2? Yes, please. So yeah, for this to be in a 10 year old game, the graphics still hold up for the game that it is. No complaints here. Yeah, this is a 10-year-old game. The first game came out in 20 uh, in 2012. So th so the base game is 11 years old while Dark Arisen is uh 12 years old. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, it's a 10 year yeah, it's a 10-year-old game. Yeah. Yeah, it's 10 years. It's 10 years. My brain decided to not math at the moment, but I got it. But yeah, for what it is, it's it's nice. It's a very good game. Ah, I can't wait to be a wizard. I can't wait to be a sorcerer. Y'all better not jump out this ledge. Okay, I killed the snake, which is good. Yeah, 
Okay, the line's down. That's right. Keep killing it. I'm gonna kill this thing before I even go downstairs. I do need to kill it before it heals itself and then tries to gain all of its health back. Nope, that's death. Get out of the ring. Get out of the ring. Let me go. Let me go. This That's the one thing I've always been concerned with. The, uh... You're not done, Wisp. Yes! Yes! Stay right there! See, it's he it's healing itself real quickly. Let me go. Let me go. Let me get out. Let me get out. I don't want to use a wake stone because I need it for the... I need it for the final mission of the game. Okay. Probably should have used retry instead of what I was doing before. But as you can see here... Enemies are no joke. These are some of the harder enemies in the game. And you know, one of the limitations of being a, a wizard in this particular version of Dragon's Dogma is that a lot of things you do tend to keep you stationary. So that's the reason why you have to plan carefully. Hobgoblins. They about to be some dead goblins. And this is the best staff in the game for a sorcerer class. But I still haven't maxed it out yet. That goblin bears a staff. What's that? What's this? I shall steal the beast! I am at your side. And some enemies are just straight up immune to magic, which uh, tends to be not a good thing for me because, uh, well, because of the current class that I am, which is why my pawn is the opposite of me. 
Characters' grunts and screams sound similar to either Japanese Luffy or Goku. Here's the thing about that, CJ. I forgot to turn his voice down to a normal level. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope, nope, get away from this spot. I hate these creatures because they're fast and they always go for you. If they see you, they're going to make their way towards you. They're not like, oh, there's a doorway here. I can't make my way over. I know y'all need some help down there, but I'm going to stay up here where I'm safe. They can jump on stuff and they can climb over stuff, but they can't get up here. I am safest up here. See, Wisp, she can do a ton of damage because they're weak to physical. Stuck in a loop of jumping over the corner. All right, cool. We took it down and we got some bitter black stuff from it. But it's only level one, so you know. Not all that great. You have a love hate relationship with Benadryl? Yee.
No choice. This. It seems this place is host to only those with some tie to the worm. Take that.
The deeper we go, the keener I sense a malice or summit like it.
Wow, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. So you mean to tell me this entire time, um, none of you heard anything that I was saying? Including Kitty, who I said, get well soon and thank you for the birthday super chat. She didn't hear that? I'm over here screaming about me trying to grab onto the ledge. Wow. I am so sorry. She said goodbye and everything. I said get well soon. I was talking. I was screaming about dragons. And y'all didn't hear any of that because I forgot to unmute my mic because uh, something was happening in the background. I am so sorry, everybody. And the pawn that I was with is gone. I gotta get to my pawn before it fades back to the rift. I'm about to take one of them out. It's this undead one that's probably going to be the most trouble. Also, I'm, I, I have no problem doing beast voice once uh, I take care of these dragons because uh, they are eating up attention. Good thing these dragons don't know how to actually use magic. Otherwise, they would have killed me already. Almost got the one dr uh, fire drake in the back. It's almost down. I think it's flying somewhere. But I think this maelstrom ought to get it. Oh, I got to go over to its weak point and deliver the final blow. Woo! There it is.
Oh yeah, it's starting to take some serious damage when it's on fire. I mean, it is technically a zombie. If it's distracted by Wisp, then I can bring down another Meteor Shower. Yep, I found a cheese. It's in the worst possible spot. Keep going until my stamina runs out. I know this seems slow gameplay wise, but it's simply because of the vocation that I'm using. It requires careful planning and patience. I gotta strike it in the heart. There we go. The only way you can kill a dragon in this game is if you, if you, the main person, uh, strike it in the heart. It, you can keep fighting this thing until you are the first, or until you deal the final blow to it. Your pawns can't do it. No one else can, only you can kill a dragon. <sighs> so now we can press on. But, CJ, you were kind enough to ask that I do the beast voice again from the X-Men. So allow me to do so.
Oh, okay. Okay, so we have a we have a road map for episode one of Suicide Squad. We got a full-on road map, which is saying something for when a lot of people can't do that. Um, let's see. So we get new playable character, Joker, a Green Lantern Brainiac fight, the uh, new battle pass that they talked about, so we're definitely going to go over that. New shop items, uh, new infamy sets and notorious gear. One thing, one themed after uh, Scarecrow. Uh, Scarecrow is getting a new infamy set, so the Bane stuff was, was just the first one, but the Scarecrow set will be the next one. Ooh, I like this gun. It's a long. Ooh, it's a revolver. I love my I love my pistols. So Scarecrow's getting an infamy set. Doctor Poison is getting a notorious set. And Mad Hatter is getting a Notorious set. Along with new incursions and strongholds. And then episode two. Yo! Episode two is called... Oh, the first one is called Fear. Episode one is called Fear. Then episode two is called Duality. Which introduces a Superman Brainiac fight. New infused enemy types. Ever-changing Metropolis. And brand new infamy sets and notorious gear. So there's going to be a Two Face infamy set. For right now, Two Face has always had a notorious set that went with the Bane set that's currently out right now. Uh, I think it's called the Persuader set for notorious gear for Two Face. Well, he's going to be getting an infamy set mid season. Then we have a uh, Black Manta notorious set and a reverse flash melee weapon. And then, of course, uh, and more. So that's season one. That's season one. That's what we're getting. We're getting all of that for season one. Interesting. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like what we're getting. So I can't wait to play that next week and then see all the stuff that they're getting. So I'm just wondering, all the uh, Notorious and Infamy sets tend to have some very unique and very cool uh, effects to them. So I'm just wondering, what is the Infamy set for uh, Scarecrow and Two-Face going to actually be? Because we have the Notorious version of Two-Face's weapons, but we don't have the Infamy versions. So I just wonder how that's going to be. And then Black Black Manta is actually very interesting. I wonder how his set is going to be. And this is when you can summon other people's pawns from the rift. Also, Psycho, it's good to see you, my friend. Level 137s. Hey, it's Seraphim. Is this the same Seraphim I've been traveling with? No, I think this is a different one. Now, my question is, let me see if I can get a pawn that is uh, top ranked. Black Manta, but no Aquaman. I mean... Aquaman hasn't really been mentioned in Kill the Justice League, so we don't know if this iteration of the Justice League even has an Aquaman on the team. Pawn is already in the Rift. Wait, Camelot? Ah, I see. Okay, max level, Strider Vocation, maxed out ranking, 
Frame Blades, Darkening Storm, Vagabond Armor. Yes, Arisen. I am honored to travel with you. All right, so Camelot's coming with me, a maxed out pawn. <laughs> so glad that I have plenty of Rift crystal, uh, Crystals in order to do this. We can go in and leave, and then we'll keep moving. But I'm interested in seeing how they're going to do Black Manta's set, like special weapons and damage and stuff. I will say this, enemy design for a Dragon's Dogma has always been cool. Because you get ghosts that just scream like banshees when you kill them. Quote unquote, kill them. Assume the enemy lurks around every corner. I need to be careful walking around here. You never know when you could walk into a room with living armor. And I can't remember... Hmm, skeleton key. I can't remember if I ever ran into, like, a mimic in this game. I can't remember. It's been, it's been so long. There's so many things I don't remember. Wizard hat. Shackle. What I'm gonna need that for. But with the, what they're showing on the roadmap for Suicide Squad, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Now, the one main concern I have is that as long as they, it, with, them in, uh, with them releasing these updates, I just only hope and pray... That it the, the game just continues to get more and more stable, even more than so even more so than before. Because me and Godzilla, we haven't played Suicide Squad together in a minute. Because the last time they try uh, we tried to, the game was not operating at its best, which was quite dis. Ooh, gear level three, which was quite disappointing because I really wanted to keep playing with Godzilla, but it just got kind of awkward, you know. So hopefully they've refined the multiplayer. So that it's even more stable and people can, you know, enjoy playing with their friends or whatnot. Okay, so living armor, we gotta watch it. Okay, I heard some clanging, which means that I did something. I was doing something. I was chipping away at his armor. Because living armor, their armor is pretty much very, very resistant to magic. However... Any 
See? Look at all that damage. Woo! Okay, Camelot. Okay, Camelot. See? See? Yeah, look at all look at all that damage. As soon as that armor is gone, it takes a whole bunch of magic damage cuz now I can exp now I can attack its ethereal self. Oh, you are in a very bad situation. Stabbed. I've been wounded beyond all recognition. I didn't want to use one of my one of my wake stones. No. Wait, hold on. Where'd it go? Was that Wisp? That knocked it away? Got it. Treasure, perhaps. What's this? Wait, did my thing run out of oil? Yeah, it ran out of oil. See, if I was playing as a magic archer, I wonder what's inside. this would not be difficult for me to get through. What's those dots below the health bar? Is that its lives? Yes. When you see the dots below a health bar of an enemy, that's how many health bars it has. And some enemies can have a ton of health. But I need to honor my promise to CJ. Doubly sure to collect any spoils left after a fight. Let 
let me find some lines. Let me see. Hank McCoy. Then go down to quotes. You know, whenever you're trying to scroll down a page in order to find information, and the web page takes forever to load, that's like one of the most annoying things. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. So this is from X-Men Volume 1, Issue 49. Enter, true friends, and meet my blundering associate, who's not such a bad idiot when you get to know him. X-Men Volume 1, uh, Issue 30. Alas, it sometimes occurs to me that superheroing is not the most tranquil of avocations. Then X-Men Volume 1, Issue 58. When next all you mutant haters gather for group therapy, kindly inform friend Trask that he's out of his conundium. Con uh, condominium. Yeah, he's out of his condominium. Let's see if we can find an intricate one. Ah, here we go. Vo uh, X-Men Volume 1, Issue 114. Listen to me. The volcano flooded the entire complex with molten lava. Your power got you and me out, but that's all. There's no way anyone else could have survived. Scott and the X-Men are dead, Gene. They're dead. Ah, here's one, from New Defenders, Volume 1, Issue 142. I haven't come here to apologize for being a clown on stage. It's important for people to see that mutants can laugh, can joke, a testimony, a testimony better than most that we are human. But Adrian Leverkun Castrop showed me something else, that we have to fight people like Robert Kelly, not only to stop them from caging us, but to, keep a, but to keep them from turning us into things we're not. Into beings driven by fear and dread. Into beasts. And then one final one from X Factor, Volume 1, uh, Issue 38. You rescued Jean. Save Scott's brother. Maybe saved us all. Don't kid yourself. You've made your choice. Forget Dark Angel. You're our official Archangel now. Heaven knows we can use one. Oh, here's one more from X Factor Volume 1, uh, Issue 41. Oh, my stars and garters. What have we here? And those are some beast lines. Let's press onward! There's so many winding places and locations. No, they hold the advantage. This looks interesting. 
So what you're saying is that regular enemies could be mini bosses? Oh! No! Wispin's knocked into the water! Wisp! No! Getting knocked into the water is a death sentence. Uh, what you're saying is that regular enemies could be like mini raid bosses. Sweet, that's totally awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. Regular enemies can gain multiple health bars to make them even tougher. Big enemies tend to have multiple health bars, while weaker enemies tend to have regular health bars without the dots. But the more difficult the enemy, the more actual health it tends to have. Which is why, even though I'm here and I'm going through this... This is where the most difficult enemies are. If I were to go back to the regular world and fight the enemies there, they would they would die because this is meant to be like a uh, high level, high grade mission area. Our foes are fierce and strong. Lest we made a point of treating any wounds immediately. Ahead, sir. Banshee. Banshee. Yo, D Train. Good to see you, my friend. We're just playing a little bit of uh, Dragon's Dogma: Dark Arisen to get more uh, re-familiarized with this game's world before I start my series for Dragon's Dogma 2 tomorrow. I think I may have hit these body bags way too hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a big undead. It's funny how these things are just going to keep spinning because there's nothing to offer them resistance. They're just going to keep spinning forever. something down here there's something big down here
Dragon Hearts are incredibly susceptible to damage. As soon as you expose it, they're not difficult to contend with. Ah, so many memories. I used to be scared to come to this place simply because of how difficult it was. And mind you, it's still fairly difficult. Halster, good to see you. We're just messing with Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen before we mess with Dragon's Dogma 2 tomorrow. And you guys know how it is. I'm not going to set up a stream until I get my game and I get it installed and I have a good time frame of when the game is actually going to be you know, fully installed and ready for me to play. Don't destroy! I'm trying to see if... Is that safe? Ah! Germs! I need oil. Take water. That's water, but I need oil. Tis possible to fall prey to an ailment without ever noticing. Stay vigilant. <laughs> See? That's the reason why you don't go in water that's red. It's bad for your skin. I'll take these heels, though. See, I could travel all... I gotta travel all the way up there. for my body. Help! Don't bring him here. Don't bring him. Don't bring him here! Nope, we're going into the next room. We're going into the next room. Hmm? Yeah, we're going into the next room. Ah, I forgot how difficult this place was. And mind you, this is a character that I never properly optimize, so I'm really just running off of a... How you say... Bad build. Or just one I thought worked pretty well but didn't put an overly large amount of thought into it. What's the charge time for that? Um, it's fairly long, especially if I'm trying to charge it to its high version. So you got to wait it out. I would say maybe possibly 30 seconds, if not 25.
possibly for that long. Take poison? Why would I want to take the poison? Hmm? You ever thought that? You ever thought about that? Why would I want to take the poison? I'm getting turned around in this place. So excited for Mania? WrestleMania? Oh, I don't have an empty flask, so I can't fill it with oil. Here's an assault. What's this? What's this? Stop touching stuff. Oh, in that case, I'm happy for you, Holster. I'm happy you're happy. Yeah, that's right. That's one Strigori down. And the footing here is poor. Strigori. I pray we're not attacked here. <laughs> Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Camelot! Shoot it! What are you doing? Shoot it! Shoot her! Oh, okay. I don't like how you in here with me! No! Help! Help! Okay. Okay. I see how it is. You want to take all of my... Blood red crystal. I think these only pop up when it drains blood from you. You'll have to apologize if I'm hollering and screaming. It happens.
Is there a way out or do I need to backtrack? Some places, I forgot that you gotta backtrack some places because they don't lead further in. Thank God for levitate. Huh? 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 We gotta get to safer ground if we're gonna take this thing on. Gotta get it with that bullet. getting hurt oh I'm getting hurt also why are Black Panther and Captain America paired together in a game uh cuz it's a game is that the Black Panther game you were referring to no cuz we're getting a Captain America and Black Panther game together where they're in the game together, and we're also getting a single-player Black Panther uh, solo game. Scale then scale it and strike from above! Yeah, yeah, this thing's got eight. Actually, you know what? No, that's not even eight. I forgot this thing has a photo mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten. That is ten, sir. That is ten health bars this cursed dragon has.
Oh, you tried to anticipate where I was going to move next, didn't you? That's right, be distracted. Be distracted, you big dumb undead dragon. Be distracted! Meteors for days! Attack the heart, Camelot! Gotta hit the heart. Hit the heart! Ah, oh, there we go. See, the thing about this uh, undead dragon CJ is that it can keep appearing anywhere where there's big ample space. It'll just keep popping up. And I was just trying to leave. I was just trying to leave because this is a dead end spot. Oh, sounds like family's back. Hold on, let me go check on them. I think we're safe. As soon as I get into this next area, I think we'll be safe. Do you think we'll be able to play at least three, if not five, of what I nickel the delightful elders from down the lake? <laughs> I like that, CJ. I like that. The delightful elders from down the lane. In the next One Piece game, or as DLC for Pirate Warriors 4, I highly doubt we are ever going to be able to play as the five elders. In any capacity, anytime soon. I highly doubt it. While it would be cool... There's just simply not enough about them we know of for them to be used in a playable capacity. Not at the moment. Give me a sec. Let me check on family downstairs because they just came back. Let me see if they need any help with anything. Be right back, everyone. Talks amongst yourselves.
All right, we're back. Let us be doubly sure to collect any spoilers left after a fight. So we gotta backtrack just a little bit to go to a completely different spot, because this one leads to a dead end, and I need to keep heading further down. The Suli Emperor works round every corner. All right, Wisp. No more getting thrown in water. Blessing. I should have made my way back here in order to bring her back rather than go on forward with Camelot and not actually have a good time against it and actually have a better time against the dragon. I should have done that. Alright, so let's choose another location. Let's go over here instead. Oh, she killed them already. Also, one of the things you need to note about the Bitter Black Isle is that if you die, you lose all of the Bitter Black stuff you held on to. So it has like a little bit of a roguelite element to it, though it's not finite. It, the only thing you really lose is the Bitter Black stuff if you happen to die. I hear something. So I'm going to put a tornado inside of this cave. On the off chance there's something in there. So we can die before I even go inside the room. Oh. They killed them all. Never mind. Okay, rooted gloom. Now the question is, is something going to spawn as soon as I run into this room? I guess not. I guess we're good. Ooh, lifestone. Hey, Kyushu, when did you start reading the X-Men comics? I haven't read too many, to be honest. I really haven't read a whole lot of them. 
I really just base a lot of the knowledge I have of the X-Men off of what I read from the, uh, you know, biographies from the wiki and then just Koros reference from there. For the most part, that is. I hear something, though. I hear something. Oh! That was a rolling... That was a rolling stone trap! I've never seen that! Yeah, 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 Camelot and Wisp, let's go! What is that, mini? Yeah, Gore Cyclops. I'll just plant a tornado down there. Yep, that's one down. I got him in the eye. Hitting a gore, uh, Cyclops or any type of Cyclops directly in the eye. Oh, that's pain. It's right underneath me. And it wants to kill me so bad. But I will kill it instead. Because that is the circle of life. Alright. They're all dead. As soon as I figure out how to get down from here. Don't look at me like that. Creature, don't look at me like that. What did I... Oh, wait, that was Wisp who leveled up. Ah! Shield your eyes. This view of blinding fog. Ah! Help 
Yep, this is our safety. This is our safety space. One of them got hit really hard with something. I don't know who it was, but keep doing whatever you do. Ah! Keep doing whatever you're doing. Okay, one's down. Y'all saying y'all on y'all way, but I don't see y'all moving. See, part of me is thinking of going right back to the beginning and changing my vocation to Mystic Archer, because Mystic Archer has a ton of good skills that makes it so I can trivialize a great deal of all these people. But I just want to keep eat. I just want to keep being a sorcerer. Right. Okay, we got it. We got it. And now I am officially heavy. Oh snap, this was the this was the right turn when I entered. I, I just want to get to the door. I just want to get to the door. I just want to get to the door. Please don't let anything appear all of a sudden. Even if it's the halfway point, I just want to get there. Oh, great. The gutter of misery. Oh, that's great. And I, I see something down there. I am not prepared for this, so we are going to leave. Healing! Oh, healing! Give me the waters. Give me the waters. Healing waters. Healing waters. I say healing waters. Healing waters. Healing waters. Healing waters. Healing waters. Healing waters. <laughs> Camelot You heal too Everybody gets heals I'm maxed out so Camelot You stay there for a minute This would be a fantastic way for everyone to get full health again. And I have no idea how long life is going to last for me. So, might as well enjoy it while we got it.
Sorry, I was just looking at some things. Briefly did a boomstick impression just then. Yeah, I knew I did. I tend to think that it's actually been a long time since we got ourselves a death battle, don't you think? That's absolutely right, boomstick. We're just waiting for them to come back so we can enjoy more death battle. Brought to you by Better Health, aka the place that has been known to kind of give your information to other advertisers against your will because that's actually a thing that's been happening with better with uh, better help if i remember correctly there were uh accusations about them giving out people's personal information let me see yeah uh let's see what was the better help controversy uh, the FTC found that BetterHelp had shared millions of customers' sensitive health information with advertisers such as Facebook, Snapchat, Critio, and Pinterest. This went against the company's privacy promises. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This was a thing last year. The Federal Trade Commission alleges BetterHelp sold people's email addresses, IP addresses, and health questionnaire answers to tech companies. That absolutely sucks. Yeah, it, it does. It does. Then you hear stuff about Timu keeping people's uh, private credit card information and allowing them to buy stuff with your credit card information. And I'm like, yeah, this is the reason why I never bought anything from Timu. I'm shopping like a billionaire. Yeah, billionaires don't shop like that. If they're shopping, they ain't shopping on Timu. I don't know why they sound like, You're saving tons of money with Timu! Like, like it's, it's, it's discount Amazon. It's discount Amazon. I say it's certain that no such island existed off the land I came from. No record names it. Though you need look no further than the links between this cavern's halls... You really gotta be careful with a lot of these places. Nature bears no fruit so strange. We're guests in a world fabricated by someone or something. If you've the need and the coin, I've the wares. So my staff is already maxed out to its maximum level. I need iron black pelts in order to max out this piece of clothing. And whatever this is, is unknown, so I can't max it out yet. So that's one thing I've always loved. That's one thing I've always loved about this game is the high levels of... Oh, wait, I can set... Let me set some different skills. Wait a minute. Hold up. Oh, my... Oh, my goodness. The whole time, I completely forgot that there's R1 skills. No, I completely forgot that there's L1 skills. So the R1 skills I've been using the whole time, thinking that that's all I had, I had L1 skills. Grand Fulmination, Grand Sizem, and High Void Spell. I had those, and I forgot about it. Okay, so I got high bullet, high sizem, high fulmination. An advanced form of fulmination that envelops the user in a more powerful and wide range bolt of lightning. And of course, basically causing earthquakes. But I got the grand versions of those. I can't believe that I forgot about this. 
invokes a magic sigil which restores any lowered offensive or defensive attributes and clears petrification, which is very useful when enemies try to turn you to stone. I can't believe I forgot I had this. I can't believe it. I don't know if I'm going to keep High Maelstrom, though. I, I need something else. Uh, Let's go with High Leaven. Zapping people with electricity is always fun. Ooh, and this is a nice place where I can rest. I can rest here if I want it. Yo, Gajio, my friend. It's good to see you. How you been? Hope you. Hopefully your day has been great. I know mine has. Seeing that gameplay of Roger, Rayleigh, and Garp this morning. Mmm. 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 Then, of course, we got that Suicide Squad news. You and I both read through the patch notes a little bit. Uh, separately, of course. So, yeah. it's uh, It's been a great day. I've been facing off against these incredibly difficult creatures on the Bitter Black Isle. Kitty was here earlier. She gave me a birthday gift. But I'll say it has been a great day. I wonder what's inside. That's just straight up spider venom. Bitter Black Isle Novelty 3? I need to get some oil. This looks interesting. What's this? Spider venom, spider venom, spider venom. Airtight flask, that might be useful. Throw blasts, which from people who played this game in the past, it tended to be kind of overpowered. I've encountered so many different monsters just playing uh, Dark Arisen, bro, that, uh, um,. Yeah, I, I, the first couple of creatures I encountered when I first got here was death. Actual death. So this is the warrior's respite. This is not the location I need to be going to, however. Oh wait, I'm heavy. I'm heavy. I actually need to uh put some store some stuff away that I don't need. Even in many of my if you've the need, I'm the fool. Wouldn't it be then? Alright, we are back to being very light. We're now very light. We can move quickly. Look at how fast my movement speed is now that I'm very light. It's quite nice. Quite nice. When jumping down a ledge, judge well the distance. I see all those Saurians walking up here. Come on, Cletus. Come on, Cletus. That juggle was fast. You see that? You see how fast that thing's moving? Domain expansion. Emperor's delight. Oh, don't worry. I'm making my way over there. Just give me a sec.
looks interesting. If only I had that uh, endless lantern so I could actually see. Because it is a death sentence to move through this whole place and you ain't got no light. I can't see. This is bad. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad because death could be in here. Oh, we gotta be careful in here. If you start hearing some strange music going, that means it's close. But I can't see. Kill it before it tells friends. Minotaur! Formation! Hold on, I'll be there shortly. That's right, bring him here. I'm just a walking Tesla coil. Bring him here. Come on, come closer. Feed the birds, toppins a bag. Toppins, toppins, toppins a bag. Come hither while you run. Why you run? I know y'all can barely see anything. I can barely see anything either. Y'all ain't missing much. Alright, let's get some earthquakes in here then. See, you guys would be able to see if I actually had some extra oil. Well, so much for me using my earthquake. You've robbed me of that opportunity. How dare you. The water's fairly deep. Mind your lantern stays dry. No, you can't be doing that. You can't be silent when I turn around the corner and then you try and shoulder check me. You cannot be doing that, sir. Uh-uh, you can't be doing that. Not cool. Not cool at all. The devil is a liar. You can't be doing that. Try to get him back over here, unless you can take him on yourself. Yep, she took him on him herself. She's strong enough to do that.
Okay. I need to I need to find my way out of here. Oh, I I think we found a way out. I think we're good. A gazer, strike it down. Oh, this is a place with a giant uh evil eye. You're kidding. Not one of them hit? Not one of those meteors hit. That's not good. Okay, good. Got it. Got it.
If only there was a little bit more light so you could truly see the horrors. There we go. See, magic is good, but when you really need that physical damage, it's always good to have a pawn that can do that. Which is why I made my pawn for Dragon Dogma 2 physical attack oriented. So I can handle the magic part. This looks interesting. This object is cursed. Y'all couldn't drop a brother like a level three? I'll take that. What's that? What's this? We made it through somehow. We made it through somehow. It would have gone better, it would have gone quicker. Had I been ooh corridor of emptiness, you know what? Yeah, we need to we need to come here. I've done what I needed to do. I'm going to head out because going to the end will probably take a while, and I want to actually finish this uh, this game so you guys can see the ending. So I'm willing to go right back to Grancis and just go through those different places and face off against those other monsters. Wait a minute, I just realized if this path is open and I can get to the corridor of emptiness from there, I didn't I didn't need to go all the way through this just to get to that halfway mark. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm rusty. I'm rusty. Lord Jesus. Okay, so sorcerer. I really haven't. You can tell which which uh, speciality class I never spent time on, due to the rating for some of them. Warrior, I messed around with for a while because I got armor and gear for just that. Yo, DJ, good to see you. Mage, obviously I maxed out. Strider, not so much. Fighter, maybe just a little. Ranger, I maxed out. Sorcerer, Mystic Knight, Assassin, Magic Archer. Is this kind of a Souls game? Not really. Um, It's more in line with maybe open world... 
open world. I wouldn't even call it open world Monster Hunter to that degree. It's uh, it's you can't really compare it to any other game because it's just like it's uh, it's 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 its own RPG. It's not really other game. Many other games you can really compare this to. It's its own unique game. All right, so now I'm going to put the weapons that I like to use. So we have the Dragon's Awakening and Blackwing Bow. Blackwing Bow is the best magic bow in the game. And Dragon's Vein, Frame Blades... Frame blades are the best daggers in the game. Trophy jacket, no, I don't need that. Have I seen the news about Oda taking three weeks break? Understandable, though. Yeah, I heard about it. I've already, I've, uh, yeah, I've already seen it. And I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. We're getting one more chapter for One Piece this upcoming Sunday. And then we're going to be going on a three-week break. I feel like any breaks a mangaka, a mangaka can take for them to rest up after, and Oda has been on fire with these chapters, with these egghead chapters for for the longest time so any way for oda to get as much rest as he can um or what what qualifies for rest in oda's case uh i am more than happy to you know for him to do this pretty much gives me a 100 percent resistances to a whole bunch of things Okay, so since my dude is a magic archer, really feel that Oda cares about his health because he was hospitalized right during Dress Rosa. Um, I think so. I know he's taken breaks in the past for, I mean, the most recent long break we've had from One Piece, we, uh, he had to do, like, eye surgery for himself. But, like I said, any way for a mangaka to get the rest that they need... All, all the better form. All the better form. This could give me a nice big boost, but... Yeah, I'll put it on. This will give me a good boost. Okay, daggers. Ricochet hunter, explosive rivet. And then articulancy, articulacy gets traded out for potential. If there is aught I can do, pray permit me to help you. 
pray. Take... All right, I think I maxed this baby out. If you've the need, I'm... Frame Blades needs two demon horns. Blackwing bow is already maxed out, so that's good. If you've the need, no All right. It's time to go. Back to Grand Soren. We got an end boss to defeat. And then once I'm done there, we can call it a session for today. Don't want to stretch myself too thin with streaming, because we still have Dragon's Dogma 2 tomorrow. So, in order for me to get that fast travel is so neat, yeah, it's useful. It's very useful. A Geosaurian approaches! Skeleton sorcerer! In I'll get the weak things out of my way. These enemies will have either a uh, wake stone shard, which can then be turned into stones. So I get. Whoa! What the? It's not nice, doggy. Don't need to do all that. It's unnecessary, even. Oh, it's underneath us. It's underneath us trying to charboil us alive. Another shard. Another wake stone. I have to make sure I don't die so I don't use up wake stones in order to bring myself back. Do I really not have any oil? <sighs> if only I had the eternal lantern. If I had the Eternal Lantern, this wouldn't be an issue. Nope, that's not a way. Man! It's so dark! The only light is from these... from these hellhounds. It's been so long since I watched your videos live. I missed you. Um, did you? I don't recognize your name. 
but you seem to have been here before. Uh, did you have like a name change? What was your name beforehand? All right, cool. They're dead. Did it. Hmm, what's that? Careful! A goblin! Hobgoblin! Ah, Alessio. It's good to see you, Alessio. We have triumphed. That's all. How have you been, Alessio? Everything all right with you? Treasure, perhaps? That's Monet. Meloirian arm guard. No, nope, I need wake stones. Don't give me nothing else but wake stones. Some of these places are just gated off. <sighs> Too bad I can't just take whatever's making these torches be perpetually lit and then allow that to light my way. Because I tell you, light is nice. Light is very nice. I wish I could see. So you guys can see. If I can see, then you guys will be able to see. So this is not a good location for me to get wake stones. We need to head further down. See if we can fight some bosses. Because there's some bosses in some of these runes that will actually drop a bunch of wake stones. So we actually need to go to them. Alright, I was close enough to grab the ledge. Nice. It's good now. I, uh, You know, I just haven't been the same since Chris. And I can understand. We're here if you need us. Let's see if we can get some bosses in the Chamber of Hesitation. Ooh, that looks like a wide open space. Have I finally gotten around to seeing Shogun yet? Nope. Not yet. Look at them. They trying to be slick. They trying to be slick. This is literally the closest I'll ever feel of playing Twayin before Twayin and Seifan arrive in Grand Blue next month. <laughs> Magic archers are kind of broken when you think about it. Their shots will be able to follow you as long as you keep them in sight. You'll never miss. Thanks, Yushu. I hope you're doing good, too. Oh, yes, I am. This is my birthday week, man. I'm my, my birthday's on Saturday. 
Plus, I'm I'm doing this. I'm I'm happy, man. All these Saurians tried to run hands. All of them. But they ain't gonna succeed. Cause they stupid. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna be able to pull one over on me cause they stupid. Hydra! Right, I forgot that uh, explosive rivet. Zombie! Can I use my bow as a melee weapon, or can I only shoot it? Why would I use my bow as a melee weapon? That's what the daggers are for. I wonder, can Ricochet work in such a wide open space here? He's doing a bunch of damage, even though this is wide open. Hunter! Wow, this is the first trophy I earned from this game in years. Defeated a Hydra or an Arc Hydra? Wait, this is the first time I defeated a Hydra? Ain't no way. This is the first time I defeated a Hydra? Hope you and your family are doing good. Oh yes, everyone's doing great. And I'm glad you're doing good as a streamer. Well, thank you. Thank you, Alessio. I really do appreciate it. We're getting ever closer to 5,000 subscribers. Just want to say thank you to everyone who helped me get this far. But uh, back to the task at hand. This is the first time I defeated a Hydra? As long as I played this game? And I even played this game on stream for you guys years ago? You mean to tell me that this is the first time it counts me actually killing a Hydra? What's this? This is 
looks interesting. You have got to be kidding. We got 15 wake stones. We just need five more. So we need to kill five more bosses. Can I get some oil? Barbarian chief's helm. No, that's not oil. That don't look like oil to me. Why would you give me something that isn't oil? Bring wooden oil. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say, um, Theoden from Lord of the Rings was hilarious? Gondor is, Gondor is mine! And I'm like, you crazy. Not only that, but he was all like, what is the last son of Gondor is dead. And then he tries to burn his son alive, and only when he is on fire does he realize... That's my son. And then he proceeds to run at least half a mile because the distance from the place where he was trying to, uh, uh, not Boromir. What was, what, what was his, uh, what was his, uh, what was his brother's name? Boromir's brother. It's not Dathomir because Dathomir is the home of the Night Sisters. <laughs> but what was Boromir's brother's name in Lord of the Rings? He tried to burn his son because he thought his son was dead, but he was very much alive. And when he did, he got set on fire, and then he ran God knows how long from the place where he was about to burn his son all the way out to the outside for him then to launch himself off of, well, launch himself off of the highest place uh, out of Gondor. And I'm like, you ain't had to do all that. If you knew better, you would have been fine. No, you didn't want to give up your seat. You didn't want to give up Gondor. Then not only did you burn to death, but you also threw yourself off of pretty much one of the tallest places. Tallest looking places in Lord of the Rings, period. A place so high that even when the camera zoomed out, you just lost track of him when he was falling down. But you know he died. Snake tongue. No, not Grima. Not Grima worm tongue. I'm talking about uh, Theoden's son. Boromir's brother. The one that found Frodo and Sam and Smeagol and Gollum. When they were, uh, when they were looking at the elephants. That's actually a really fun dynamic. Since you can since you can grab onto monsters and creatures and climb very big monsters, you can basically make it so that you can hold on to the monster you want to hold on to and then just let your pawns fire at it. Ah! Thank you! But it um, bit me in the neck already. The Oliphants. Yeah. That still only counts as one. Nobody tosses a dwarf. Ah, great. It's uh, 416, which means the boys need uh, should have been fed. Um, My apologies. Let me go make sure that the boys are good. Ooh, wake stone shard. Thank you. I need that to turn into a wake stone. Then we can proceed to the end of this game. And then I'll call it a session. And then I can say I'm fully ready to... Uh-huh, you weren't ready you weren't ready for the jump attack. You weren't ready for the jump attack. We have 
triumphed. That doesn't appear to lead me anywhere where I can get some defeat a boss. That doesn't appear to lead me anywhere. I'm serious. I'm, I apologize for it being so dark and you guys can't actually see. Gargoyle! Ah! I've been afflicted with petrification. Thank you. Now, where did it go? Yes, kill it! Kill it! I will not be turned to stone. I refuse to be. Wait, I've already I've already been in here. Unless they opened up the chest and they didn't tell nobody. Cool. Shard. Ooh, full on wake stone. Thank you. All right, where are we at? We got 17. We just need three more. Then we can just fall through the pit. Land right back on the bottom again. Nope, no wickstone there. Okay, we gotta go to the next area. Jewel of petr petrification. I'll say this though, I wonder if lanterns requiring oil is gonna make a return. Because if it is, I'm probably gonna need to make a surplus buy in stock. I'm probably gonna need to buy in stock considering... I'm out of juice. Chamber of Distress. Boss? Hello, boss. Ricochet shot is broken. Wakestone? You give me Wakestone? You new dum dum, you give me gum gum? I wonder what's inside. Sacred Sulfoner. See, you see the difference in the power of the monsters from the base game compared to the monsters of Bitter Black? Bitter Black is meant to be end game level stuff. This place feels like no other. Stay vigilant. Ah! Ooh, already dead. Those explosive rivets. And you give me wake stones. Thank you, dragon. All right, so now we just need one more wake stone.
That doesn't look like an exit over there. So it means we... Oh! Oh? We got the 20. We got the 20. All right. Awesome. Amazing. Fantastic. Sensational. Buddy. Decided to give me buddy. All right, we got the amount we need. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Hee 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 hee. And all of this in horrible darkness. Can I can I boost up the darkness, the brightness? Audio brightness. It may look a little weird now, but Hey, question. Whenever a person gets turned to stone, is that person still alive or dead? Because I've always wondered that. Usually in common... Ah, this is so much better. Look at that. You guys can see now. Why didn't I do that before? I'm sorry. So, when it comes to a person being petrified, in most cases, it is the person being turned to stone from the inside out. Not necessarily just their outer the outer side of their body the outer side of their body is just turned to stone and then they're fine on the inside and you just got to break them out. It's not the case like it was with the people uh, with Kinemon and the others in Punk Hazard during One Piece in the uh, Punk Hazard arc. It is you are... You are literally being turned to stone from the inside out or outside in. So when you when you come to the cases of like Medusa, you're completely stone, turned to stone. So when people get petrified like that, they are literally turned into statues, not living statues, just statues. So in most cases, when you're petrified, you are completely stone. All right, this is where I needed to go. Yo, Mandalorian Martin. Kyushu, you gonna try Dogma uh, Dragon's Dogma 2? Yes. You would know if you were here, Martin. I'm messing with you, but yes. Uh, I've been saying it multiple times. I've told people uh, on across multiple streams. I've even said it multiple times during uh, my community posts. I will be playing Dragon's Dogma 2. With them, you can summon forth a rift of considerable power. This rift, born of the Wakestone's power. More like Boa Hancock's petrification. Yeah, yeah. Just, just the, just, just the regular level of petrification that you see. Just think of Boa Hancock. Think of the consequences of what would happen if you were shattered. And that's basically it. I fear there will be no returning to this place. Are you prepared to journey on? This pawn will await you here. All right, so this is the point of no return towards the end of the game. Before we proceed, I'll let you guys be lulled by the music and the ambiance as I take care of the boys. Sit tight, everyone. We're almost done with Dragon's Dogma. Any good games coming out April you're going to play? I would very much like to play Sandland, but we'll see. We'll see. I know I said I was going to play it but we'll s I, uh, because of uh, Akira Toriyama, but we'll see. But we'll see. I really want to just get games that have lasting appeal and a lot of replay value. And after playing the demo of Sandland, I need to see more of what it can offer longevity-wise before I fully commit to it. But that's just, that's just in April. And of course, we got Stellar Blade releasing in April as well. And we also have some updates... Another update for Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, which introduces more characters. So I'm going to be covering that as well. And April's also going to be the month where I start redoing my reactions to Cowboy Bebop for the first time. Uh, watching the series in its entirety. So that's going to be something I do as well. But as far as games... As far as games, nothing too major. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. We'll see how things go. But I'll be right back. Let me go ahead and take care of the boys. Sit tight, everybody.
My sincerest apologies, everyone. Time to continue. Well, actually, hold on. All right. Time to continue. Yes, at last. With this rift, I fear there will be end this arisen. May the world be put right by your hand. Okay. Find the truth below. We must jump. There we go. Into the void. Dark Arisen. Freedom. Escape the yoke of eternity. Suppliers demand, cancel, cannot continue quests. Yeah, I figured as much. And we're in this endless void. Well met, Arisen. I'll not waste time on rhetoric. Defeat me, and take my place as keeper of this world. You saw it awaiting you at the end of your descent. Aye, the same world you've traveled to arrive at this place. A world you may well now inherit. It is a simple proposition, no different than any you've faced. You need only the will to claim what is offered you. The will to survive. Yes, fight the risen, as you e'er have fought in coming here. What is it that impels you? What force spurs you on? What has sustained your wanderings and led you here? I ask you, what is it that makes you alive? Tis volition, unbending will. You are here because you willed it, Arisen. That alone has brought you here. Just as you call forth forms, so I command all life into existence. Call it divine creation if you must, but expect none of the mercy men seek in their gods. This is cold truth, the unbending reality of a world without compassion. <laughs> the world and all its denizens are but empty vessels. In that regard, no different than the forms. Without volition, there is no true life. The world falls stagnant, dead as an ocean with no current to guide it. That volition is tempered by the struggle for survival. The decision, just like yours, to fight. Just as the forms need a master's command, so the world thirsts for the will to live. Let us continue, Arisen. 
Show that you are more than an empty vessel, animated by forces unseen. Show that the temper of your soul is strong enough to command far more than mere thoughts. Show that your will is fit to bind the frayed center of this world and hold it fast. Fight tooth and claw. Struggle now, appealing to life. Show that living holds worth enough to fight for. <laughs> Just whiffing all those swings. <gasps> the God was me. Choice arisen. Step forward or retreat. Accept the quiet emptiness of a false peace, a false life. So, Martin, you say I've been wondering: does the net is the Netflix Dragon's Dogma canon or a spinoff? Um, it could be, uh, but it's more likely a sp it's more like its own self-contained story. So you don't need to watch the anime in order for you to get what's going on in the game. Because the game came out before the anime, uh, anime. Without a home to return to. There is naught to be gained from my words now. I indeed heed no voice. What is it drives you so? So glad I could take out that jester, because that jester was annoying. Why is this hesitation, sir? You've ought to protect, do you not? <laughs> I would beg you rest a while, but just as like you would find death Instead, I ask only that you keep us in mind now and again. Is your pawn with you? No, we are literally in the domain of God, so we are by ourselves. Look at that dainty run. She's the only person I didn't kill. <laughs> I could have turned back, but come on. You are close now. So very close to me. Come, brothers. I shall meet you on your own terms. Joined by my own companions of all. You stand now at its end, Arisen. See your journey through. You should put Dead Island 2 on my list. Uh. Yeah, I can tell you have not looked at everything that I got on my channel. The forge of my heart grows cold. 
Because I got a whole series of me playing Dead Island 2. Grab him! Wisp, grab him! Forgive me. All I've done is to test your will. It is the fate of all Arisen. You and I are swept up in the current, same as the rest. Each tempers the volition of the next, and the endless cycle continues. And so, until the coming of a new soul fit to craft the will to live, someone like you. Until that day, may you guide the world ever justly. Present you with the God's Bane Blade. Those who arise to oversee this world are undying, save by this brand's kiss. I ask that you, as the world's new solution, use it now. To vouchsafe freedom to your weary servant. Feels different, it. New crown, sovereign and keeper of eternity. Grant me now this single boon. The fire of my life is spent in guttering. Give me freedom. With the kiss of the God's pain blade. If there is aught you wish to know for my death, you need but ask. My knowledge, as my own, is yours to take. What would you hear of me? The Seneschal is steward to the world. The world you traveled now rests in your care. Just as the Arisen calls Pawn into being and sets them to motion, the Seneschal holds dominion over all living things. Um, what do you call this, uh, this type of music? Um, possibly orchestral with vocals? I mean, that's, that's the... That's the, that's the best that I could come up with. Those who would call such a being maker or god. I cannot deny the claim any more than affirm it. In the end, they are but words. Call it what you will. Such is the office I have served. 
just as those before me and you beyond unto eternity. Um, it looks like you're in purgatory. No, I'm actually in the domain of where basically the most omnipotent being exists. knowledge as the pawns exist astride the rift they speak of a multitude of worlds each infinite unto itself limitless in span and lost to time these worlds extend in an eternal perfect loop just as a ring lacks start and end so this world has no origin no final terminus if it does they lie beyond our we are prisoners of unpassing time, wandering an unending land. What lies beyond, we cannot know. Even we who traverse the rift do not ken what lies beyond. New crown sovereign, keeper of it. The fire of my life is spent in battle. If there is all my knowledge as my all, aye, there is life in the world and with it death. Not lasts forever. Each rises and falls in its time. But such is a death akin to that of ponds. Appear in this world and vanish only to appear again like bubbles in a mountain spring as so it is with all that lives within this eternal world in time you will come to see it happen under your watch Saint each beast each blade of grass each human life is born to die and be born again in endless rhythm have I ever played vagrant story never heard of it not lasts forever, yet all persists unto eternity. Alright, one last thing. What is will? Will is that which led you to this place, and that which turns the eternal wheel. string of life and death there are some born with a hunger they yearn for some other better place they are the arisen nascent fountainheads of will and so the dragon is sent into the world to guide the arisen and refine them to temper their wills into aught capable of sustaining the world and so the cycle of our world has ever continued. All right, we've asked all of our questions. Grant me now this single boon. The fire of my life is spent in guttering. Give me freedom with the kiss of the God's paid blade. If there is aught you wish to know for my death, you need but ask. Mourn me not, for I welcome the release. At long last, I am free of eternity, of infinity, free of the cruel, unending ring. Mercy! Dealt the blow of deliverance. Have I really not beaten this game at all? After all these years, have I not beaten this game? Live as a seneschal. 
Okay, so uh, what this basically means is that my character has become God. Um, because that's what this means. That's what this whole domain is. The domain of God. And that is what my character has become. Oh, I remember what this did. We're just seeing everybody living out their lives. We, we have, uh, we have basically entered into the realm of God where we are just watching everyone live out their lives. If only I kept my staff. If I kept my staff, it would have been cooler for me to walk around like this omnipotent being. Instead of being like this dude walking around with daggers and a bow, it would have been cooler that way. For all this woman knows, she's being picked up by this unforeseen force. Huh? That was weird. I got picked up by someone invisible. <gasps> Help me! Let me see if that one girl is still at the house. Oh wait, that's too far. I think it's... I think it's a house that's over here. It's overlooking a place. I can't remember. Man, they don't look right. Are you talking about the people? This is a 10-year-old game, man. What'd you expect? They were the, they to look like as good as people in the uh, RE engine now, like in Resident Evil 4? What you mean I'm a cruel god? I just wanted to see what happened. Fisherman's house. I'm just I'm just walking up into people's homes. What y'all got? Y'all got some food over here. No, the way you picked up that one. <laughs> All they know is they stuff is broke. All of a sudden. If only I was a, if only I actually turned into a wizard. Ooh, your jar is floating. I remember. I remember this. And what I remember about it is that being the basically the god of this universe. I mean, God of this world and overlooking everything. All you could really do was just watch. I couldn't kill no monsters. I can't go adventuring no more. I can't interact with nobody. I'm just someone who watches. I am literally Uatu. I can't open no treasure. I can't get no stuff. Where's your old girl? Where old girl house at? Where's my old house? Where's my old place? It's not the fisherman's place. Wait a minute. Can I can I suffer fall damage? Nope. 
No, I am basically invincible. Wait, can I go out here? Can I go out here? What? You could never go out there because the brine would take you. So what's the point of it then? You're just watching. The dude explained it. He did say you're just watching. You are literally just a person that watches over the world. Now, I'm just wondering. Uh, that's all well and good. But how come I can't have the power he had when he was fighting me? You literally could create life. So you mean to tell me that I have become God? And I can't do none of that? I can only watch. I can't interfere. I can't show my unlimited cosmic power. I can only walk around and look at folk. I remember when I played through this originally. Okay, these deep 10-year-old memories are coming back. I remember when I played through this, I was like... So I've become this godlike being that oversees the world, but I can't do nothing. I can't have no fun. I can pick up people, but who cares about that? I can pick up people and mess with them. Yes, it's good to see you all in church. <laughs> <laughs> It's good to see you all in church. Let me whisper, whisper to the pastor real quick. Tell them to turn to Jeremiah 17, verses 7 through 8, and repeat after me. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought. It never fails to bear fruit. Make sure you tell the congregation that. All right, make sure y'all pray. Make sure y'all give y'all tithes. Y'all tithes. Not tithes. Not tithes and offering. T-I-D-E-S. Tithes and offering. Tithe. T-I-T-H-E-S. I will see y'all next Sunday. But then again, y'all should be seeing me every day, not just Sunday. But this, in this world, in this universe, this is what, oh, snap. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh my goodness. We just, okay. Um, the frame rate just messed up. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, the uh, the uh, playback is messing up just a bit. Let me fix that. Okay. All right, we're good again. All right, we're good. We're good. Let's move on. As you can see here, I can go into all these homes, look around, but I'm just an observer. I got all this power and I can't fly? Why am I moving around like a normal person? My character is God. How come I can't... Why, I can't how come I can't fly? How come I can't fly? Hey, hey. I got... I got I'm going to do something that's going to scare the locals. And they didn't pay attention to anything at all. Not paying attention to that completely random blood splatter on the ground. These are some hardy folks. I fear there's something else besides you being invisible. Hold on, let me look it up. Because it's been forever since I've seen the ending of this game.
All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Dragon's Dogma. Live as a... Live as a Senish... Wait, is this... Hold on. Quest. The Great Hereafter. Live as a Seneschal. It is your fate to dwell within the Seneschal's chamber forever and always. Oh, no! Feel there's a person that can see you? I'm looking. Visit the town. Second exit of the town. Okay. All right, all right. I remember now. Hold on. That's supposed to be set as priority. Can I leave the town? Like, my pawn is here. Where else can we go? If we're stuck at that fishing village, and we can't go anywhere else. Okay, I'm in Grand Sora now. And Grand Soren is fine. No giant gaping hole. <laughs> no giant gaping hole in the city because everything has been reset. This is a brand new world. I'm going to look up the quest details on the wiki itself. Yeah, we're completely invisible. We're a, go we're a ghostly figure. Okay, we're almost done. We're about to be done. We're about to be done with this. Okay, it's time to go back. It's time to go back. Because there's... We're just living as this ghost that's just watching things happen. And it's only in the major towns of the, uh... Grancis. Of Cass uh, Cass uh, Cassandras. And just... Hold on, where that where that knife at? Where that We have to We must be better than this. The cycle ends here. That's how I complete the mission? I have to kill myself? I forgot about that. What y'all doing falling in the water? Don't y'all know there are things in there that can kill you?
like me, aren't you? As my grandmother gave me life, she gave you yours. They gave us death, and with it, true life. This is the world she wanted for us. Director Hideaki Itsuno. Closure. Put an end to all things. Cleared game data has been saved. Loading this cleared game will allow you to begin a new game. The items you obtained last playthrough will be available in item storage. Wow. I never beat this. After, as long as I had this game, I never beat it? Well, you guys were able to see the ending, so that's something. You have previously cleared the game. Beginning a new game. Begin a new game using the save data? No. No. I've done what I wanted to do. I've done everything I wanted to do with Dragon's Dogma. And now we're done. We're done. One part two coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow, bro. This is the reason why I was doing a refresher. And to do the ending. So I can p close the book on Dragon's Dogma 1. And it this extension called Dark Arisen. So that way I can devote time to Dragon's Dogma 2 tomorrow. And then my birthday afterwards. But yeah, the sequel drops tomorrow, so I hope you guys are ready for a brand new series. But yeah, I've gone on long enough. It's already been four hours, getting close to about uh, four hours and 30 minutes, at least for me, as, as far as this, tr uh, this stream is concerned. All I can say is, this was a nice refresher back into the world of Dragon's Dogma. Hold on. All I can say is that I am... Oh, sorry. So, someone was sending me a message. Ah! All I can say is... Ooh, Saturday is finna be lit. Oh, no, I'm actually going to be playing it tomorrow. I'm not going to wait for my birthday for me to be playing it. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to start it tomorrow. I'm not going to wait for my birthday. Because I kind of want to maybe possibly relax a little on my birthday. But uh, don't hold me to it. I might be continuing Dragon's Dogma again. Um, that next day afterwards, but we'll have to see. Uh, but I will be starting my series tomorrow. But all I can say about Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, a 10-year-old game still holds up. And that ending still messes with me after all of these years. I mean, will the part two be connected with this? No. It's already been explained by the director saying that you do not need to play Dragon's Dogma or Dark Arisen to understand the story of Dragon's Dogma 2 because it takes place in a parallel universe, in a parallel world. So it's not necessary for you to understand what's happening in this game for you to get what's happening in the next one. So it's not a continuation, it's an alteration. But uh, from what I've been seeing, people have been enjoying it, and I can't wait to see what all I can do when that game comes out tomorrow. So to everyone, all I can say to you is, well, firstly, thank you for being here. Thank you for making this channel as great as it is. Thank you for all the birthday wishes and the birthday gifts and whatever. I just want to say thank you for that, especially to Kitty. Thank you for that. 
And to everyone, it really is an honor and a privilege to do what I do for all of you. Hope you all enjoyed. Can't wait to see you all in my next video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, because I am always looking forward to entertaining you. So have a fantastic day, and once again, as always, later peoples!